What's going on YouTube? Darren McGee here from Tech Monkeys, just back with another fix for a problem we ran into today on a customer's machine. So the customer was running Windows 10, recently installed the Windows 10 Creators update, they had a roaming profile, um, and logged in to see this message on your screen. Um, can't sign into your account, that was rapidly followed by this message, and they were just logged on with a temporary profile, couldn't access any of their files, couldn't access their desktop, couldn't load any of their default applications or anything like that. Typical uh, temporary profile situation. Messed around with this one for a little while before we finally found a fix. Uh, and doing a bit of Googling around, it does seem like there's a few possible fixes for this. So I'm going to run you through a couple that seem to have helped most people. I'll start with the one that seemed to fix it for us. Um, in our instance so uh, on our customs machine we if you open regedit you want to navigate to this key here so it's hk local machine software microsoft windows nt current version profile list what you'll get in here is a list of all the profiles that are stored on this machine um, when you flick through these Ignore these four at the, uh, sorry, three at the top. They're your system uh, profile, local service, and network service. But these are all profiles of other users on this machine. As you can see, when you click into each one, you will see a local profile folder name. And that will tell you basically whose profile it is. You can click through those admin, default user. So you want to find the one for the user you're having the issue with. Now, in our in case, there was only one here. This one with the dot back, this one that's above it, wasn't didn't exist until we uh, performed the fix. And all you want to do is right click, choose delete, or if you want to be extra cautious, choose export first. Choose a location to save it in, test. I'm just going to save it to the desktop. And if something goes wrong, you can simply double click on that and it'll put it back. So, as I say, right click, delete. Reboot the machine, log back in, done. If that doesn't work for you, something else you can try is on your domain controller, go into the group policy that applies to the machine that's having the issues. And what you want to do is this. Um, there's an option here, sorry, for delete, use, delete cache copies of roaming profiles. If that is set to enabled on yours, change it to not configured instead. Didn't work in our instance, didn't seem to make any difference. However, as I say, from a bit of Googling around, a few people have said that seems to be the issue. So this issue seems to be affecting people on Windows 10 with roaming profiles and following the creator's update. If worst comes to worst, you can restore back to prior to the uh, Windows uh, update, sorry, the uh, creators content update. So you, sorry, I'll repeat that just in case you weren't following. So click on the little settings cog, go into updates and security, choose recovery, and this go back to the previous version of Windows 10. Click get started, and it will roll back to the previous version. Your problem with that is, unless you put something in place to block it, that uh, creator, creators update is going to reinstall, and you're likely to run into this issue. As I say, for us. The issue was fixed by deleting the user's profile uh, in the registry. Uh, and in our case, as I say, it did have a dot back, which I thought was, meant it wasn't going to work when I deleted it, but it did. It had exactly the effect that the user was able to log back in. And the issue went away. I hope this has helped. If it has, please leave a like and subscribe. Let us know if you've got any problems you'd like fixing stuff that you're running into on a daily uh, basis. And we'll have a look into it. Can't promise we'll fix it, but if we can, we'll try. All right, take a... Bye now.